guys welcome to my youtube channel um if you don't know who i am my name is rose from rose writes i do make majority of episode tutorials and content and i will continue to do that but i wanted to branch out and talk about some mlms because i think it's important to raise awareness about mlms and how dangerous it is and um financially to get involved in these things and i wanted to talk about bomb party because it is going viral mostly i see on tiktok and i want to raise awareness about this because i don't think they're being transparent actually i know they're not being transparent in terms of um financials um how you're going to even make money the viewers what the actual business is and the products that they sell so I seen in a couple live videos that people had a lot of questions and a lot of these distributors are not being honest and upfront or they completely ignore the question and we will talk about that in a moment so just a disclaimer right please do your own research it is imperative that you do your own research don't rely on my video or other anti MLMers um videos look at some people who are pro mlm and make your own decision and come to your own conclusion i want you to use my video as a for entertainment and for informational purposes um but again this is just for entertainment purposes and just to spread awareness and information about this again these are my opinions really just my opinions again come up with your own uh, opinions come up with your own solutions and your own thoughts and your own research please do not send hate to anyone involved the distributors owners and customers etc if you noticed um, anybody in my um, PowerPoint um, don't send them hate guys it doesn't do anything um, it doesn't help anyone don't send anybody hate Again, this content and the video in here is based on my opinions, my research, and my personal experience with MLMs. Do as you wish and do your own research. I can't explain that enough. Um, the reason why I decided to do like a PowerPoint format is because I think it's the best way to break down information. Um, again, everyone do their content different type of ways and they have their own way of doing things. But I think when I sat and think about how I wanted to do this MLM video, I knew I wanted to break it down and dissect it piece by piece. And I think the best way to to do that is via PowerPoint where you can actually look and um, analyze each piece of information so let's talk about it so let's get with the basics if you don't know what bomb party is it's okay I promise you you're not missing out on anything um, so what is bomb party so bomb party or BP is a MLM company aka multi-level marketing and if you don't know what multi-level marketing is it's basically recruitment based um, they rely on you to recruit to make money essentially and this MLM company sells full jewelry necklaces and earrings um, I did come across them I think in January and a lot of their jewelry seems to be costume jewelry. We will get to that in a moment. Um, these items are usually sold via live events like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I've been seeing a lot of folks on TikTok, but I know Facebook was the main um, a, a place for these um, things to be sold. Um, I haven't really seen too many on Instagram, actually. So in a nutshell, um, their ring, these rings are in fizz cubes um, and the fizz cubes are then dropped in a hot water to reveal a ring that BP claims has a suggested retail value anywhere between 25 and 1500. And again, we will talk about what the suggested retail value means. I actually have a video pertaining to this. Um, so actually, um, just stick with me here. So let's just talk about the founders here. Um, I found this picture on um, bombparty.com. Um, they are public figures. Um, you can they have it on their website if you care enough to look. Um, Bomb Party was founded and um, in 2016 by sisters Lillian Coleman and Isabella Coleman. Um, it does say on Lillian's Facebook page that she is the chief creator officer, meaning she is behind the designs and styles that the company puts out. Um, Bomb Party was named Ring Bomb Party, but they changed their name in 2020 because they now offer more than just rings. Um, that I don't really have much to say about that there. Um, there are some speculations that they changed their name due to their very, the, uh, the amount of negative reviews they got on the Better Business Bureau. That's just what I've been told. 
I'm not saying it's fact, but that's what the rumor is. Um, both the sisters are from Montgomery, Alabama, which means the business is from is located in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, the story behind the creation of Bomb Party, they claim, was the sisters wanting to give little luxuries or affordable luxuries. Um, I don't really have much to say about that. Um, that's just a little background if you care to know. So let's talk about this compensation plan. And the reason I wanted to talk about the compensation plan is is because it's more lengthy and I'm not going to read the whole thing. I will leave uh, the link to the compensation plan down below. This image was found on the compensation plan and I just want to break it down for you guys. Um, I won't be going through the whole thing because it's so wordy and there's so many steps and it's just very much uh, just a lot. And I think if you need, I think this compensation is like 10 or 12 pages. If someone needs to have 10 to 12 pages to explain how they are paid, red flag, immediately red flag. Okay. When I get, when you get a job anywhere else, you're usually not given a 10 page paper and expected to read and understand how you're going to get paid. It usually gives you your job description and the amount you're going to get paid and give us your banking information. That's it. That's all. But this, they need to break it down to you so you can understand how you get paid. So again, I'm going to summarize this for you guys. So how to earn, basically, they're talking about when you just start, they want you to focus on basically going live and selling these rings. That's your main focus when you start. And that's what they explain here. As your business grows, though, they do want you to start recruiting. That is the base of the business model. They don't want you to just sell rings. As you can see, they talk about the, the solid purple is selling and the one with the little white in it is team building. As you build, as you go up in the ranks, they want you to start focusing on team building, a.k.a recruiting and the reason why you'll see you'll see little red flags throughout this video is because this is what I think is a red flag I think the whole compensation is a red flag but just to be more specific I put some little red flags and things that I specifically think is just uh, suspicious and one of them being that um the PV now if you don't know what PV is it means personal volume and personal volume it basically means the amount of money you're spending a month in inventory so in order to even get started or be considered active in this bomb party business you need to have 350 pv and it's not just a one-time thing every month you need to be having 350 pv right you need to be buying 350 dollars worth of inventory a month and the higher you go in the ranks the more money you need to be spending in inventory so if we jump right here to paradox executive consultant right here you can see that it says you need to have 700 dollars in pb to stay and maintain the paradox executive consultant every month you need to be spending 700 dollars in inventory even if you're not selling $700 worth of inventory. So let's say hypothetically you had a crap month, you were sick, you only sold $350 worth of inventory that month. But guess what? Next month, you still need to buy 750 PV, even though you didn't even sell your first round of inventory. And then as you can see, in order to rank up, you need to have DV. And DV is downline volume. And downline volume basically just means that you need to have people that you're recruiting and the people you're recruiting need to start also buying inventory. That's all that means, right? So that's the difference between PV and DV. They do have some, a glossary. And I think the fact that if you have to have a glossary or a little dictionary in order to explain how people would be paid, it is so red flag. I'm sorry, it is a red flag and again in order to be eligible to rank up you need to have that downline volume otherwise you will not rank up even if you are spending six hundred dollars a month which is the topaz senior leader you are still required to um have some db if you do not have a downline you will not rank up and that's the issue okay red flag everywhere <laughs> red flag everywhere and again they say right here, as you begin your business, focus on the fundamentals of selling and team building. They team building means recruit. They don't want to use the word recruit because it sounds very much pyramid schemish. Um, but team building means you're recruiting and that's what they expect you to do. Um, again, this is very wordy, very much a lot, but I'm going to break it down as easy as possible so you guys will understand. So they talk about here. 
I'm sorry about that. They talk about here the selling bonuses. So um, at minimum, right, um, you're going to get 25% commission. I see that it ranges all the way to 37.5%. I'm assuming um, the higher you go in rank, I'm going to assume that's how um, the amount of uh, uh, profit or the commission you get gets bigger or it may just be dependent on the collection and it says here depending on the style and collection your customer sales profit will be 25 to 37 percent okay so it doesn't matter your rank um it says here that depending on the style and the collection so i'm assuming the more expensive the collection is um that's the bigger the commission so if you're spending like they have like the basic ogs collection which is 1995 i'm assuming that would be um 25% but they also have like special collections that are like uh, 40 bucks which I'm assuming you're going to get 37.5% of that I'm assuming that's what they mean in that um still not a whole bunch of money I'm sorry um but I'm going to use the example that they gave here so they said hypothetically right let's say you spent four thousand five hundred dollars that month right I'm sorry not spent you sold four four thousand five hundred dollars that month right your customer sales is at four thousand five hundred dollars a month right let's say that hypothetically i'm going to use this red pen to explain it if you don't know where i'm reading from right here right so let's say you that's what you got right the minimum customer sales profit from that is 25 percent. so you're going to make one thousand one hundred twenty five dollars right you sold four thousand five hundred you're only having you're only getting 25 percent of that which is $1,125, right? And let's say you don't have any downline volume. That's all you're getting. That's all that's all you're getting, right? And that doesn't count um right? That doesn't count the uh uh the PB that you have to maintain a month and all the other stuff that you have to purchase, right? And then the taxes that you had to take out. It doesn't even count all of that um but here it says your personal volume so 2500 so 2500 is a little up there in ranks if you're spending 2500 dollars in pb but once you start spending over 2000 which is this thing right here once you start having spending two thousand dollars or more in your pb which is your personal volume then you're going to start getting some uh money back from your pb which means if you spent their example right here if you spent two thousand five hundred dollars in personal volume which means that month you spent you spent twenty five hundred um dollars in inventory you're going to get back five percent on that pb which is 125 bucks um and they break it down here the more money you spent on pb five thousand um seven thousand or more the higher the percentage okay that's how they break it down there and I think that is just, but that's only if you're making over 2000 That's only if you're spending $2,000 or more. If you're not spending that much in PB, you're not going to get, um, you're not going to get that at all. So I'm going to give you an example, right? So if you sell 15 ring bombs that month, right? You're starting off, you spent 15, um, you, you sold, I'm sorry, 15 ring bombs, um, which are $19.95 each, which equals to just about $299.25 um, estimate. It could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but just just to say. Um, but if you're only making 25% commission, you take home just about $74.81. Sorry about that spelling error right there. But um, you only take uh, about $74.81. That's it. And don't forget that you have to pay taxes on your income, which I'm assuming is maybe another 25% you're going to have to take out for your taxes, right? Because you're an independent contractor. They won't take it out for you. What are you going to do with $74.81? Because remind you, Bomb Party don't give you anything. You have to get your own bubble mailers or boxes or whatever the case may be. You have to buy your own um, thermal printer so you can print out labels. Then you have to spend money on shipping. And then a lot of these girls or gents, they have to entice people to spend, meaning they have to get prizes. So they have to spend money on prizes as well. So, and then on top of that, you still have to get your $350 of PV. So even though, let's say, hypothetically, you just made $74.81 that month, you still have to get your $350 PV on top of all the other supplies you need to run your business. 
you're in the hole. You're in the hole. So as you can see, unless you're getting some downline volume, you're barely scraping it, right? Even if you made a couple hundred that month, you still have to spend money. Or let's say hypothetically, right? You, you're killing it. You spent, you got $400 in commission, right? You still have to get your $350 PB if you're just starting off. You still have to, again, get your your mailers, your um prizes, and et cetera. You still have to do that. And whatever else you decide to, and then you still have to build your background, all this other stuff, right? You can start to see, unless you're bringing in, I see a lot of these girls have hundreds of viewers. If you're not bringing in that, you're not going to be making a ton of money, right? And again, I see that as a red flag. And again, as I was just talking about, that personal volume, you're not seeing any personal sale commission bonus um, or money back on your PV unless you have over 2000 in um, downline, in, um, in personal volume, I'm sorry, which is a red flag. And then they talk about their fast start program, meaning if you rank advance reward, uh, it's all about the rank advance rewards here. I'm talking about this right here. So which means that if you rank up, I'm assuming in the first couple months, you get um, some rewards. And all the rewards they're talking about, which is right over here, um, all that is is just free product credit. That, that's really all that is. You get free product credit. Like, who cares? And again, they, they emphasize team building bonuses for the new reps. So when you start building your team, they talk about you get $50 in free product credit, $100 in free product credit, even $200 in free product credit. Um, who cares about free product credit? So you regardless, you got to use that money to buy ring bombs. I mean, who cares? <laughs> right? Like, who cares? I don't want free product credit. Send me a bonus, right? But it's clear that you can't make a living on just selling ring bombs. You need to recruit. That's not me saying it. This is bomb party saying it. How many times already have they said, sorry about the little scribble, but how many times have they said that you need to build a team? How many times? You need to recruit to make a livable rate or a wage. And again, they talk about build your own amazing team again. They emphasize it all throughout this compensation plan that you need to build your own amazing team, aka recruit. Right. Then they start talking about level bonuses. Right. And what are the level bonuses? And so the level bonus is basically what they see here. So let's say you're a Paradox executive consultant. You will earn six percent commission from your direct downline. So the people you recruit. Right. The, the, uh, the people they're talking about right here. The people right here are the people you recruited. The people below them right here. Are the people, the recruit, the people that you recruited, these are their recruits. So you start to make, you make 6% off of whatever they're making. And then you make 2% for whatever those recruits are making. Right? Again, so if you want to start seeing money, it's clear that you need to start um, recruiting people. It's pretty much the base of the business model. You need to recruit if you want to see money. And that's what's so unethical and so bogus about this business right? Why do you need to recruit? Why can't someone just, hmm, I want to start a bomb party business. Let me buy some um, ring bombs from the company and just sell them and then just give them a higher commission. Why can't you do that? Why can't people just do that? Why do I have to, why do you need to recruit? And, again, and does this look like a specific shape to you? I mean, I don't want to say anything, but this is very much giving triangle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm just saying. So, again, this is another example about um, those level bonuses. So let's say you're a Tanzanite senior manager. This is all on their compensation plan. Again, I will link this down below. So let's say this is you. You're the Tanzanite senior manager. The arrows that's pointing down the level one, these are your recruits. You make 8% off their sales. Now, these are your recruits, recruits, right? These are the people your team recruited. These people are your team. This is what I'm talking about. These people are on your team, right? These are the people your team recruited. You get 4% back. You get, I'm sorry, not 4% back. You get 4, you make 4% of what they're making. 
And then these are your recruit. Those, <laughs> it makes no sense. You these are your recruits, recruits, recruits. Does that make sense? So these are your level threes, and you make two percent back. You make not two percent back. I'm sorry, two percent from them. Okay, you start making money off of their sales too. So at some point, and I heard a rep talk about this, or I'm sorry, a distributor talk about this, where she don't even have to go live anymore. Every All the money she makes is from her downline. Her downline is down there going live for 8, 10, 12 hours. And I, yes, I have seen that. I've seen a girl who was on live for eight hours with six viewers trying to do whatever, wearing funny hat, playing funky music just to get people to come in. They're busting their behinds trying to make money and you're making money off of them while you sit there and do nothing. That's not ethical. Not even in the slightest. Okay. And then we're going to talk about the generational bonuses real quick. So the higher you go in rank, you can start earning generational bonuses. And then the same thing as we were talking about before, um, where your downline, you can start making money off of their downline, downline, downline. So they call it a generation, right? Um, so again, so they talk about in order for you to start receiving this, a Ruby executive manager or higher title. So let's say these are your recruits, right? Let's say this right here is your recruit. The people directly under you, these are your main people, right? And let's say they recruited, let's say they recruited someone and someone on their team got a Ruby uh, executive manager, and this is their downline. You make money on each level, right? This is a generation. This is a generation. This is a generation. So not only are you making money off of the recruits, their recruits, and their level three recruits, now you're making money off of the whole generation of recruits. And, and every yellow dot you see is a generation, which means that is how much percentage you're going to get for each level. So this level, generation one, generation two, generation three, generation four, generation five, this is how much money you're going to get for each generation. Tell me how that does not sound sketchy and weird. Tell me, I'm waiting. <laughs> this is so weird. And they talk about someone to look up to, like, because you're recruiting so many people, you're really focusing on your leadership. I don't think so. I don't, I would not want to look up to someone who think that this is, that you just sit there and you twiddle your fingers while we're out here trying to recruit and trying to sell and trying to do whatever. And you're making money off of me and you're doing nothing. Even if you are doing something, why can't I keep all the money for myself? Why do you have to make bonuses off of me? Why? I mean, again, that's a triangle if I never seen one. Do you see that pyramid? Hmm. And again, that's what I wanted to talk about. In order to receive these bonuses, you must have someone on your downline, um, a Ruby executive manager, as I just stated, right? You can see how confusing this whole compensation plan, this whole compensation plan is just so, so confusing um, and it's so wordy and it's very like just staring at this conversation for so long gives me a headache and it's so mind numbingly boring. But if you want to be able to succeed in this business, you have to understand how you're getting paid, right? You have to. And again, for each person in your downline that is a Ruby executive what the downline is considered a generation and for each generation you get a bonus, right? So this is considered your downline. These are your direct downline, like the people you recruited, but everyone they recruit is also considered your downline and you get generational bonus for each people in your direct downline that have Ruby execs and more, right? I'm sorry if that's confusing, but that's just the way the compensation plan is. And again, that's a red flag because first of all, as I stated in the beginning of the video, why are we recruiting? And so let's think about this for a moment. And I, I'm going to run by this quick. So let's say a ring bomb is $19.95, right? They get 25% commission um, off of that, which equals to $14.96 estimate. It could be around $15. I'm going to just give an estimate. I just took 25%. So they make about $5.50 a ring bomb or maybe $5 estimate, right? 
because I don't have, they don't tell us what it is. I just heard a distributor say and mention that they get 25% commission. Um, again, it doesn't include taxes that the distributor has to take out, right? So again, Bomb Party sells their rings wholesale for you as a distributor, distributor, I'm sorry. Um, you buy these rings from Bomb Party Wholesale at $14.96. Again, these are estimates. Um, Bomb Party must make a profit, right? They have to make money back somehow. So they have to upcharge their reps. So they're selling these rings at $14.96, which means they had to upsell it um, to $14.96, which means how much did Bomb Party buy these rings for? 11 bucks maybe per ring bomb. Hmm. which means the rings can't be worth more than 11 bucks hmm. just my observation but again as i was saying bomb party must make a profit so they also have to upcharge to sell to their distributors and they must charge enough to make up for the bonuses they have to give the distributors who recruit level bonuses and generational bonuses so that means what does that mean that means that because bomb party is getting all giving all these bonuses level bonuses generational bonuses um all this stuff, free ring bombs, all these things, they have to upcharge it enough to be able to pay out these bonuses. So that means they have to upcharge it quite a bit to be able to maintain, um, to up, uh, to maintain paying these people their bonuses. How cheap are these rings for jewelry? How cheap is it? If you're selling the rep, if you're selling it to your distributors at $14.96, you have to include all the bonuses you're giving away because you have to upcharge it. How cheap is this thing? How low are we going? But let's talk about joining this pyramid scheme. Or I'm sorry, not it's not a pyramid scheme. It's a business opportunity. My bad. So if for whatever reason, I'm going to run by this real quickly. If for whatever reason you want to join, join Bomb Party, I can explain this to you real quickly. So... First things first, you need to find a rep or distributor um, that you want to sign up under. Usually they'll tell you to reach out to them via DM or click the link in their bio to join. Um, after you enter, before this page here, before you see this, you have to enter your name, last name, come up with your own um, business name. Um, and you have to pay for your back office for $20. And I forgot that's an extra expense. You have to pay for your website and that's $20 a month on top of the PV, right? That's on top of that. So here are some starter kits right here. You get a $99 starter kit. Um, you don't get anything, right? You get like, it seemed like a spoon. You get uh, five ring bombs, but they're all in different sizes. And then you get like a, a pen, it looks like, in a ring thing. Get a compensation plan, how to get started, and all this other stuff. Boo, throwing tomatoes. <laughs> but at this here... Even though, let's say you buy the $99 kit, right? You're still not considered active. You know why? Because you still don't have $350 worth of PV. You have to get that PV. Next, like I said, you have to buy a kit, which means pay to play. Red flag, again, red flag. If you have to pay to play, red flag, red flag. You shouldn't have to do that. And remember, you have to have 350 PV to remain active, as I just stated. So on top of buying your kit, you need to buy your $350 PV as well. And same thing with this one. It says you can spend 198 This is Life of the Party starter kit. Um, it looks like you get a ring light, some jewelry holders, um, all the other nonsense. Um, but you still have to get your PV as well. Right. That means, uh, and again, if you didn't, if you missed what I said in terms of PV, the ring bombs, necklaces, earrings, it must total to over three hundred and fifty dollars a month, and you must pay monthly to remain active, even if you don't sell anything that month. So let's say hypothetically you're on TikTok and you're trying your best to sell these things, and let's say you only sold fifty dollars worth of inventory that month. You still have the next month, you still have to get 350 PV to remain active. So you're even more in the hole. Not only did you not sell your $350 of inventory, you then have to buy more inventory. Right? So then they, again, they have more starter packs. Here, there's a 366 um, one and there's a 599 one. What I noticed, I put 266, I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a three. This is supposed to be a three. My apologies. Um, as I'm starting to see here, um, 
they talk about, um, again, this 366, you get 25 original ring bonds, a necklace, an earring, and business essentials. That's the thing we were just um, talking about. Um, and then the 599 one here, which is 25 ring bombs, 10 additional uh, ring bombs, two of the popular rainbow packs, I guess. Five necklaces, five earrings. This is supposed to be to launch your business. Um, it says what's included, essential starter kit, free $85 value, which I find weird about this thing right here. When they said free $85 value, they just said that the starter kit was 99 bucks. Why did they say right here it's an $85 value? So the kit is actually worth $85, quote unquote, but you're selling to us for $99. That is very much suspicious. Um, but they say if you buy a $5.99, if you buy this $5.99 starter kit, you can immediately earn $5.99 PB. So you don't even have to buy an extra um what I'm trying to say is if you buy this 599 launch starter pack, you don't have to, you're set for the month. You don't have to buy your 350 PB because this is worth more than your 350 PB. Um, I'm sorry. Same thing with this 366. You, it says you immediately earn 366 in PB when purchasing this pack. So you don't have to worry about purchasing more inventory. However, if you buy this $99 starter kit and $198 starter kit, you still have to buy your $350 um, PV or inventory that month. Okay. And I want to talk about something else as well. So reason why I'm so against this is because 99% of people who sign up to be a part of an MLM loses money. And that's not from some anti MLM um, website that I got this on. This is actually from Dr. John Taylor's research, which I will link this in my description because it's imperative to read this. Um, I recommend anyone who is signing up to be a part of an MLM to read his research. And the FTC pushes this and warn people to stay away from this, these kinds of businesses, because people are losing money. We're, people look at people who are anti-MLM thinking like we're just haters. No, John Taylor reviewed hundreds of MLM to come up with this number. People were losing money in MLMs, right? I will link it. I just put snippets of it, but... I will link it in the uh, description if you're even considering being part of an MLM. If you're already in Bomb Party or another MLM, please take a look at it. Please just read it, okay? The FTC.gov pushes this. They're warning people to stay away from it, right? Um, I got this off of the... Um, off of the article again please read uh, read it i will link it down below so i want you to watch this video okay i want you to watch this video and tell me what you think Okay, it was a very short clip, but I did want you to see that because why did she lie? She said that Bomb Party is not an MLM. I want you to watch it again. No MLM. Right, and I want to make a disclaimer. If you know who this lady is, please, 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 please do not send her hate. Um, it does nothing. She may not even... I, mean, I don't know if she's been in an MLM before. Maybe she don't even know what she's doing. Please don't send her hate. But why did she lie and say Bomb Party wasn't an MLM? And when I checked her comments, it says someone commented said thought BP was an MLM. She said, nope. That is a lie. And we're going to be getting to that in a second. And... But a lot of distributors are aware that MLMs have a bad reputation. So they either lie like this woman in the video did or they don't answer the question at all. Right? They don't answer the question at all. Okay? Which is sad to me. Why lie? 
Why deceive people? You're lying to people. Let's say someone who is naive, who don't know about MLMs, decided to join. And you told her this wasn't an MLM. And it is. I want you to watch this other video here. If you've never seen a ring bomb party or bomb party before, I want you to watch. And then we're going to get into some of the things she stated in this video. Hi, Betsy. Welcome. All right. And if anybody has any questions, please ask. That's what we're here for. <clears throat> I want to make a quick disclaimer here. If you know this woman, Please do not send her hate. Please don't. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't solve anything. Please don't send her hate. I use, I'm using this video um, for informational purposes, and I think it's important to um, see what the Ring Palm Party is. Um, and I'm, she says some things at the end that I really want you guys to listen to so I can explain. But again, disclaimer, please don't send this creator hate. Aw, thank you, Alicia. Thank you, girlfriend. <laughs> I, I look sweaty and, uh, look. We're inside a big white tent. Like I said, that water kept splashing. Every time I turn on, there's water in my face. Hi, Donna. And we just got back. We had to stop somewhere on the way back. So we just got home. For what, Miss Donna? If you order a second time during the same live show, yes. But that's all. If you are new, you get a newbie gift. All right, this one is Lab Grown Azure Blue Fire Opal Rhodium Plated 156. Oh, did you? Yeah, he said you were sleeping, girl. You got a good one. That was awesome. Look at that. Gorgeous opal. So cool. So that was an original size five, Miss Kelly Girl. Isn't that beautiful? This one is Lab Created Dark Aquamarine. It is rhodium plated, 76. That is a stunning solitaire. Oh, and I love Out Like a Light. Aw. That's how I felt earlier. I was like, I could totally take a nap. All that heat. Gorgeous. That. all those beautiful stones and they're on that side too how pretty is that loving it and this last one's black onyx cubic zirconia this rose gold plating 110 look at that black onyx Hi, Linda F. That's beautiful. Alrighty, friends. What do you think? Those were three originals, you guys. 20 bucks a piece. The number I see at the end is what it's worth, not what she paid. Hi, Lisa B. Welcome. I wanted to know if you noticed something. Right? She said that the bomb, the, the ring that she revealed was worth whatever the numbers she said at the end. That is not true. SRV, suggested retail value, is not what the ring is worth. That's not what that means. But it is what bomb parties would sell it for if they had an actual storefront. 
Bomb Party does not have a storefront, by the way. So why would she tell a story? Why would she lie and say that this ring is worth however many dollars? And it's not true. Lying to consumers, telling them that they can pay $19.95 and reveal something worth hundreds of dollars is a lie. It's to the benefit of the company that they inflate the SRV to make people assume that they're actually getting a, more money than what they paid for, right? Making consumers think they can reveal a ring worth that much money. The company will not make a profit if they sell a ring worth hundreds of dollars and only charging $19.95. Think about that. If, she, if the ring is worth, let's say... $300 and you only paid $19.95 even though it was worth $300 the company will not make any money they are actually losing money if that is true the MSRP or the SRV is suggested retail value again it is not what it is worth it is what bomb party would sell it for if they had an actual storefront which they do not so again, I don't understand why they put, I don't even understand why they put the number there because they don't have a storefront. They don't. But again, it's to lie to consumers and to make them assume that they can actually get something worth more than what they paid. And a lot of people like her, unfortunately, the, the woman we're watching, lie to customers saying that they're revealing something worth hundreds of dollars after paying $19.95 is a lie. Again, Bomb Party would not make any money if they're selling uh, rings worth 19 for nineteen ninety five if it's worth hundreds of dollars, right? Bomb Party will not. I'm sorry, but I would like to talk about something in in uh, terms of what the previous video we watched before that, where she was talking about Bomb Party is not an MLM. Again, she was lying, but. We talk about here, this is their um, terms and conditions, and I will link it down below so you guys can check that out. But it's talk about how a bar, uh, party rep uh, participation in other direct selling programs. As a bomb party rep, you're not allowed to participate in other direct selling programs. And what does that mean? It means that bomb party acknowledges their distributors are, are a part of a direct selling program, aka network marketing, social, social selling, pyramid sales, and multi-level marketing, aka MLM. Bomb Party acknowledges that they are a part of an MLM. So why did that woman lie? Why did she say it's not an MLM? Does she not know direct selling? MLM is the same thing. So as well as network marketing, social selling, pyramid sales, they all fall under the same umbrella because they all require you to recruit. Why did she lie? And so to lie, and then you may have someone sign up under you thinking that, they are not a part of an MLM, but they are. According to the, the trademark, when they were filed under Ring Bomb Party, this one has been left abandoned. But notice how Bomb Party and Ring Bomb Party slash Ring Bomb Party um, states that they offer multi-level marketing services and direct marketing services. And also you can see right here, Ring Bomb Party, aka Bomb Party, also acknowledges that they sell costume jewelry. It is right here. Bomb Party says that they sell costume jewelry and fashion jewelry, which means these are cheap materials. If you look up what costume or fashion jewelry means, it means they are made of cheap materials. And then they're selling these costume jewelries for $19.95. I think that is ridiculous. I think that's ridiculous. And also right here, it says direct marketing, multi-level marketing services. They offer direct marketing and multi-level marketing service. It's right here under the trademark. So why did that woman lie? A lot of these distributors lie and say this is not multi-level marketing or they don't want to admit that this, this is multi-level marketing. But guess what, honey? It is. So either you tell the truth. And if you're embarrassed to say that this is an MLM, maybe you shouldn't be in an MLM in the first place. Maybe. So again, this is speaking to the Bomb Party distributors. Why won't you admit this is an MLM when Bomb Party states that they are an MLM? Bomb Party acknowledges that they are social selling or direct marketing selling or multi-level marketing selling. 
Bomb Party admits this. Why are you guys not admitting this? I want to know. Hmm. This is on the Better Business Bureau website. Notice something? This is their business categories. Fake jewels, jewelry manufacturer, jewelry stores, multi-level sales. This is on the Better Business Bureau. And again, I will link this below if you guys care to take a peek. But this is on the Better Business Bureau profile. I didn't make this up. I didn't write this. This is on their profile. This is a screenshot from their profile. This is their rating on the Better Business Bureau. Bureau. It's an F. Again, I didn't make this up. This is on the BBB. Look it up. And a couple reasons for this is failure to respond to four complaints against um, the business. 13 complaints filed against Bomb Party that were not resolved, which means Bomb Party did not respond and fix the issue. 70 complaints filed against this business. Actually, it's way more than 70, but um, I'm assuming this is just what they put. I'm assuming it, once you reach 70, it, it makes your rating go down. Um, but yeah, 70 complaints. They have even more reviews. Check it out. Now, this is from the FTC. These are my closing statements right here. Okay. This is from the FTC.gov. It is, says MLM, um, your recruits, the people they recruit, and so on become your sales network or downline. If the MLM is not a pyramid scheme, it will pay you based on your sales to retail customers without having to recruit new distributors. Again, if the opportunity is based on recruiting new people or building a team, it is a pyramid scheme. This is not coming from me. This is coming from the FTC.gov. This is government ran. This isn't from an anti-MLM a website. This isn't from someone, some hater online. This is from the government that is warning people to stay away from MLMs. The government. Okay. So you can call us haters or anti MLM people haters, but the truth of the matter is we're not telling, we're not the only ones telling you to stay away. The government is telling the people to stay away. Okay. And again, they say if you have to. Um, you should be paid on the sales you make to your retail customers, meaning you should be making commissions. You should only be paid based on the sales. That's it. You should not have to recruit new customers. And as you can see, Bomb Party constantly mentions the need to team build. They put, they give you money. You get a lot of money once you start recruiting. It is not just based on your sales. You hardly make any money off your sales. You want to see real money and you need to start recruiting. And I will link the rest of this article from the FTC in my description. Please read it, please. It is very informational and I think um, it's uh, I'm it's something that I think that you guys should take a peek at if you're interested in joining a multi-level marketing company or if you're thinking about it or um, if you just want more information. Again, just because an MLM sells products doesn't mean it's not a pyramid scheme. People always say, and I see this in not just Bomb Party, I see it in Monet and all this other stuff. They say, oh, well, we sell product. We're not an MLM. Just because you have product, it doesn't mean you're an MLM. Okay? Just because you have product doesn't mean you're, uh, you're not a pyramid scheme. I'm sorry. And it says most people who join legitimate MLMs make little to no money. Some of them lose money. In some cases, people believe they join a legitimate MLM, but it turns out to be an illegal pyramid scheme that steals everything they invest and leave them deeply in debt. This is from the FTC. Take a peek. Read it. And again, more of my closing statements. Please do your research before deciding to join an MLM. Very few people make it to the top. And again, if you're going to make it to the top, you need to recruit. Okay? Take a peek at those reviews on the Better Business Bureau. I will link everything down below. Please do your due diligence before deciding to make a financial burden of any MLM. Very, very few make it. Very few make it to the top. You cannot make it to the top without recruiting. It is not women empowerment, which this brand says it is. It cannot be women empowerment if you're lying to women, making them assume that they can make hundreds or thousands of dollars off of this business a lot of people lose money especially if you're not recruiting i'll be making a part two on this um and a lot of this will be on uh about the complaints on bbb and reddit so um please look out for that video
here are some of my resources. I appreciate you guys taking uh, time to listen to me and um, watching. Um, please leave comments down below how you feel about Bomb Party. Um, if you have any questions about Bomb Party, bomb party that you feel like aren't being answered let me know and i'll do my best to answer them for you um but thank you for watching and bye, -bye.